Hi, I'm Peter Mason. I'm the uh, website's project manager here at Skip. Um, we're going to be running um, sessions on SEO, uh, workshop on search engine optimization, which is a terrible phrase for making the stuff on your website more findable. Um, I think this is important because a lot of good work could otherwise go to waste. Uh, community groups are publishing fantastic information, uh, stuff that's really useful for people out there in the community, uh, and some of it, unfortunately, won't be found. Um, I think with a with a small amount of work um, and just understanding the right way of doing things, groups can get an awful lot more out of their content um, and make it much more findable to the public. So we're going to look at um, some simple things um, which will improve um, the way you publish information a lot. Um, initially we'll do some research um, just to check out where people's websites are at, um, what kind of keywords they've been using, what kind of phrases, um, whether the actual content can be found by search engines, um, which is the normal way people will come across your content. It's possible to track um, the way that people use search engines, uh, which keywords they use when they're searching for content. Um, for example, um, about 40% of web searches include a location in them. So if your website's speaking to Brighton and Hove, then putting those words in your website will increase how easy it is for people to find the content. Um, so after we've done the research, we also talk about how you might write and how you might use those keywords in the way you write for the site. Uh, and then thirdly, how, how people are linking to your site. So another key aspect of uh, making sure your website is findable on the internet is to make sure that you get your linking sorted out. Uh, this will involve contacting people who have got well-found websites on the internet, things that rank highly in Google, to make sure that you're linked correctly from them. The next stage um, will be about sharing your content. So expecting people just to turn up at your website and find your fantastic content isn't necessarily the best way to promote it. And um, We'll talk about how you can place your content in other key places across the internet. Uh, finally, we'll be um, summarising some um, useful online resources and tools which will help you track how visitors are using your website and um, if you are considering doing some optimization on your website, how that will affect the number of people who are able to visit. I think it's important for anybody working in a community and voluntary organisation. Uh, community groups provide stuff that's really genuinely useful to, to people in the community rather than just trying to sell them something. Um, and I think if that content's not found, then we're doing the community a disservice. Okay.